in this morning's Health Watch, the health of the world's shark population. No matter what we think of Jaws, the truth is that shark attacks are quite rare. And even some of those rare victims are reminding us that sharks are much more likely to be eaten by people than the other way around. More than 73 million sharks are killed by fishermen each year mainly for their fins. Scientists now estimate that 30% of shark species are close to extinction. It's no surprise that conservation groups are concerned and some unlikely advocates have emerged. Paul de Gelder, a diver for the Australian Navy, was attacked by a bull shark in Sydney Harbor last year. He lost his right hand in his lower right leg. Debbie Salamone, a journalist and dancer, was swimming in Cape Canaveral in 2004 when a shark bit her foot, severing her Achilles tendon. And in 1997, Michael Coots lost part of his right leg to a shark while surfing off the Hawaiian island of Kauai. And Debbie and Michael and Paul, and along with seven other victims, are going to be visiting the United Nations today, calling for stronger protection of sharks worldwide. Good morning to you all. Good morning. morning. When people see you and they say, oh, now hang on a minute, you were attacked by a shark and now you're advocating for sharks, what, that really is, they must be very surprised. Well, yes, it is the ultimate story of irony and forgiveness. But when you think about these statistics, it's very frightening for the health of our oceans. Mm. And so we need to end finning. We need a halt to fishing for these threatened and near threatened species. Right. And we need countries to come up with good global shark conservation um, uh, plans to have some limits on, on shark fishing because there are no limits right now. Right. Tell me a little bit about your story. You're a surfing, yeah, right? Surfing. You're in Kauai. Mm -hmm. You're what, 18 years old. Yeah. yeah. And tell me more about your yeah. experience. Yeah, well, I was early morning, paddled out with some friends. Um, um, surf was pretty fun, sat out there, everybody caught a wave and I was by myself, nice one came. As soon as I made a paddling motion for it, um, a large tiger shark came up vertically. It wasn't like in Jaws where you see the fin coming at. It right. just grabbed onto me, did the ragdoll thing. Um, out of instinct, I punched it a couple times. As soon as I hit it, let go, went back underwater, disappeared, looked at my finger, saw blood, was like, ah. Got on my board, started paddling in, and my leg started sh doing this weird shake, and I thought the shark was still trying to chomp after me, and mm -hmm. um, looked over my shoulder, and my leg was just gone, completely severed, right. never felt to come off. You should be the last person in the world, then, who would be advocating for uh, conservation of sharks and for sort of elevating sharks to not being demons, but being part of the, part of the health, of, health of our planet. Why are you on board? Yeah, well... Um, these guys contacted me and they gave me some numbers and I had no idea about, like I think most of the general population doesn't know about shark finning and I was just baffled and, and felt really, you know, in my position to, to do something positive mm -hmm. about it and feel, you know, that I can open up doors in my story and why not, you know? Yeah. 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 Paul, you're, I guess you would be almost like the equivalent of a Navy SEAL here in the United States. You're a special ops guy. You're out there, you're doing training. Tell us what happened to you. Uh, so I, I spent most of my time in and around the water because of my job and uh, it was about seven in the morning in Sydney Harbour uh, and we were conducting some counter-terrorism trials. Uh, I was just swimming on the surface and a, a shark came out of nowhere, uh, grabbed me by my hamstring uh, and I tried to go for the eyeball but my, uh, my hand was in its mouth as well so I couldn't. That would uh, slow that process down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I tried to go it with my left hand, yeah. uh, go for the eyeball, couldn't reach, tried to punch it, tried to get it off me and uh, I think I just upset it. Uh, it took me underwater, shook me around, brought me up, took me back down, and then it was gone. Yeah. You you know? I, 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 of all of you, you may be the one who's luckiest just to be alive. I mean, he took a, he took, he, he had his yeah. way with you. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, one centimeter closer to my femoral artery, and I would have bled out in the water, and I, and I basically nearly died twice on the way to the hospital. So you hear about this then, and you are maybe really the most unlikely of all to say, <laughs> to be an advocate for sharks. Well, it's a respect thing. It's not a fear thing. And um, when the Pew Env Environmental Group contacted me, that was a really humbling experience because I do a little bit of work uh, in Australia. But to be able to come over here on a worldwide scale, go to the UN and, uh, and work with these wonderful people, you know, that's uh, amazing to uh, try and make a difference worldwide. Right, right. N you were attacked, you were at Cape Canaveral, you're in the water, a couple of feet of water, it just goes right down to, for your Achilles. You were, took a long time to, for rehabilitation. Had this ever occurred to you before this accident happened to you? No, in fact, um, I... Uh 
I really didn't know the plight of sharks too much. Right. Um, and uh, after the attack, I was um, plotting my revenge. I wanted to eat shark steaks. I was not happy. <laughs> and so um, eventually, though, I saw it as a test of my commitment sure. to environmental conservation and joined the Pew Environment Group, which is a global shark conservation and, campaign. And normally when, with, the, with the sharks, they just take the fins, they throw the rest of it away? Is that what happens? Exactly. They slice off the shark's fins and dump the animal, sometimes still alive, back in the water where it drowns or bleeds to death. And fishermen can fetch up to $300 per pound for these fins, which are used mostly as a soup ingredient in right. Asian markets. Wow. So we're hunting some of these species to extinction, which is very bad for the ocean ecosystem because we need sharks as a top predator to keep the food chain in check. Hard to not listen to your story. Thank you both, and uh, th excuse me, thank you all for being uh, with us today. We really do appreciate it. Our you pleasure. Thank you. Coming thank by. You. Yeah. you bet.